this is Abina at Cross Keys Crafts. First of all, apologies for my voice. I've got a bit of a head cold, but it's not too bad. So just in case you're wondering about my voice. So as you can see, um, there is no Friday fun video today, so I'm not creating something. But I thought I'd show you what I bought at Lavinia Stamps Online. I couldn't make it to the Halleganza last weekend because I was working. I would have liked to go. It's only about 40 minutes from here, actually. But um, I had a look at their um, new collection, but I only got, I think, one or two stamp sets from that. And um, But I had lots of stamps on my wish list. So when I got a voucher for my birthday, I thought I'd treat myself. And I also bought a bit more than actually... I had on my voucher so one thing you always get with your um, order is a postcard from Lavinia Stamps this is a new one to me I really like this one and then usually you also get a little chocolate if they have got it in stock so then I got loads of these mini stamps or pound stamps because it only cost a pound and this is the blackberry and this is Jiminy, um, the little grasshopper. I thought it would be use, useful. Then this is the mini urchin. I bought that because I've seen it used as a pumpkin. So I think that might be quite handy. I didn't want to buy any pumpkins. Then I bought three lots of stars. With Christmas coming up, I thought these would be really useful. I've already got one mini stamp for stars, so I just completed my collection here. This is the Stars 2 Mini, um, Stars Mini, and Stars 1 Mini. So I thought this would be really useful. And then I bought these little fish here, uh, which is just called Mini Fish. So, and that completes this set as well. I treated myself to this one because I've got the big uh, jellyfish, Jalahanda, I think it's called. I can't remember now. Um, I don't have any mermaid stamps or anything, but I thought this would be really nice for underwater scenes. Oh, yeah. And I've got the big uh, seahorse. So I thought just for the background to complete this, I got this set and this is called Sea Creatures. So I thought this would be really, really useful. And obviously I can just mix and match them. Maybe even do some mirror stamping to have these the other way around. So I thought this would be really nice. And these are the bigger stamps I got. So, well, if I say bigger stamps, bigger sets. That's the fairy bugs. Again, I've got stars in here. I didn't think about that. I've already got a little butterfly like that. I wonder whether that is actually quite close to it. But I've got the two dragonflies here, which I thought would be really nice to complete my flower scenes. So that's very useful. And this is why I treated myself to those. Then this is the Spanish moss foliage. Um, I've seen this used quite a few times. So eventually I got this. And you're, it's a good price point as well because you've got two bits. And you can use these hanging down. But you can also turn them this way around. I'm even contemplating just now whether this would make a nice Christmas tree. See, so I like to buy stamps that I can get a bit more out of. Yeah, I think this is from the new collection. If not, you may correct me. Uh, and these are the, uh, this is winter magic. So you've got winter words here. Winter, white, frost, snow, crystals, glitter, stardust, sparkle, snowflake, evergreen, icicles, wonderland and magic. And I thought this would be really nice as a background stamp or even if you don't want a specific Christmas sentiment, that would just be nice as some words on the card. Then this one is the leaf spray. Uh, again, you get two stamps in this set, which I think is really uh, good. And again, it's sort of to complete my collection of bigger and longer stamps that I can use and I think again these are very versatile I compared quite a few online I, I don't want to have the, all of the stamps but these were on my list for a while because I thought this could be really useful again I think these would work as trees as well in, in, a, in a landscape so I think they're really good or even as branches 
to sit the animals on. I think that would be quite nice. Then this one here is the flower pots. I saw Joe Rice use these quite a while ago and at first I thought I don't need those but I think you know if you don't want to have a landscape I think this would be really nice and I also like the fact that you've got these little stamps here that can you can add to your landscapes just in the foreground but I really like the idea and especially if you use them with a mice for example or even with a cat or the cats I think this would be really nice and I'm looking forward to playing with these then this is oh this is from the new collection snowflake small so I decided to just buy one set and even though these are called small they're quite big actually let me just get my ruler here so I look at the diameter they're even they're one and a half inches in diameter anyway so they're quite big and I really like the way they're really ornate well, this one looks a bit like foliage actually I've got loads of snowflake stamps already but obviously this is better quality but I just went for the smaller ones I don't think I need the bigger ones and then I can combine these with the little uh, stars if I want to create a bigger uh, background or you know a bigger image with these snowflakes so yeah that's really nice so these are the three dancing fairies i had a look at these and then compared these to the i think they're called foragers and eventually i went for these i don't have a lot of fairy stamps but i was looking into again for my uh, landscapes with flowers i thought these would be quite nice to combine them rather than having bigger fairies and i thought that these would be more versatile for what i wanted because I've got the you know, the two flying ones here and this one I think could be sitting down on some something. So I went for these in the end. And then these are the group poppies. Again, I like the fact that you get quite a few stamps here for your money. And I think again, these are lovely to complete the flowers I already have. And yeah, I think they're really nice. And I'm looking forward to stamping with my new versifying clairs so there this is one of the reasons why i bought the tulip red and the versifying clair because i only had blue and green uh, and the pink and purple at the moment in the versifying clair and i also got this summertime just to have you know some other colors to stamp with because the versifying are really useful to stamp with then i just got one stencil set I have a few more on my wish list, but I just went for this one now, which is the coral. Again, I thought this would be nice for underwater scenes. Um, but yeah, um, as I said, I compared quite a few things and went for this one in the end. And then the other two things I got, um, I said that in a video recently, I wasn't happy with the purple I have. Um, I've got a purple um just thinking what it is what the brand is oh it's this one here it's the spectrum noir harmony and i was struggling to ink blend with that it is water reactive dye but i don't know it wasn't very good and for years i've been looking at the villainous potion so in the end i thought i'll order that as well and I thought at the same time I will treat myself to a pink and I picked the picked raspberry uh, because I think this will complement it quite well. So yeah, that's what I got at Lavinia Stamps this time. And yeah, I'm looking forward to having a play with this. I'm sure I will create something for the next video coming up on Sunday. Um, I probably will do a Christmas card just because... Um, it is that time of year but i'll have a look i'll see what inspires me so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon